morning, welcome back to the vlog, welcome to Wednesday morning. We are now three days away from the big race weekend. So I'm heading out today for a fairly short, fairly easy couple of hours. Gonna do some sprint efforts today just to keep the legs fresh and ticking over. Yeah, it's a bit of a nicer day today. It's still really windy and there's still like trees and branches everywhere, but sun's out, it's warm, it's good. So if you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, then I basically left my, my laser helmet on the train. So until I get my new one sorted, until I figure that out, I'm just wearing last year's helmet. This Bontrager one, hopefully it doesn't look too hideous with this kit, but I'm sure you'll let me know. It probably doesn't sound that windy, right? I'm doing 280 watts and I'm doing 8 miles an hour. Hold on, let me take the wind muff off. Left corner, left corner. Ah, tailwind. That's so nice. Now we can just freewheel and do like 20 mile an hour. Just arriving back into Eccleston now. Completed one hour 30, that is about enough for today. Even did a little bit of drafting behind a horse box. But yeah, I was happy with the legs today, happy with the sprint efforts. I was a little bit stiff to start with from uh, yesterday's uh, sweet spot session, but the legs loosened up nicely and uh, yeah, really looking forward to this weekend now. And when you're doing an easy week, it'll be rude not to finish the ride at, uh, for a coffee at the cafe. Gonna, gonna go down to Cafe Manor. But I have a dilemma and here is the dilemma. It, it, like to me now it feels really warm and hot because I've been riding for an hour, but I don't actually know how warm it is, you know, when I stop. So do I sit inside or do I take the risk and sit outside? It's a hard decision. The sun came out, so we decided to sit outside. Rate your parking, mate. Class parking. Bought me an Ed. Ed's back in the vlog. We are back. We are in Tesco because I need to pick up a uh, a calendar for the office. Should we get one with like naked? No. It's, yeah, 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 it's yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bad idea. That's, that's a very bad idea. We, but we need to get we need to get a calendar because I've got a few things coming up, a few a few plans that I'm making. But I need to I need to write everything down just so I sort of know when I'm free and also when I'm not free. Calendars, calendars, calendars. I hope I can get one. I hope it's not too late in the year. <laughs> if you can't buy a calendar, why are you calling yourself a superstore? Savage. <laughs> Savage. Yeah, Tesco, tes poor effort from Tesco. We had, had diaries, but I don't want a diary. I want a proper calendar that I can hang up and I can very... So I can easily see what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and then I can make I can make plans and not overlap plans, which is what I normally do. Anyway, we're going to go into Chorley and try somewhere else. Chorley. 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 <laughs> Is that a calendar? Yeah. No, it's a wall. It's an academic wall planner. Yeah, you exactly. Want to be a calendar. Just realised that I've bought an academic year calendar. So it starts in August. Sick. I genuinely can't believe I did that. What a waste of £3.49 and about 45 minutes of my time driving to and from town. And I didn't even take the receipt so I can return it. I will get another calendar another day. I'm not doing it today. I can't be bothered going back to town today, especially this time of the afternoon. 
it's going to be packed out. But like I was saying, at the minute, I'm planning a few things and I just want to write everything down, all my races, all my different plans. But man, what a f idiot. <laughs> Ed's gone home to revise. He's currently in the middle of his GCSE exams. So he has to go home and uh, study for them. So I'm out now walking the dogs. It's raining, so I've got my hood up. And behind me is a field of wheat. I'm thinking about being as naughty as Theresa May and running through that field. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if you're from abroad and you didn't sort of get what I just said. Just let it slide. A feature in this vlog for the past few weeks has there's some cows over there. I hope they're not gonna be aggressive. All right, they're walking towards us. We will just ignore it for now. Anyway, a feature for the past for the past few weeks has been uh, has been the time trial, and 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 I know and I know that's something that's been well received. You guys have have, have enjoyed, you know, me documenting my journey to try and break 21 minutes, which I know I can do. I'm just waiting for summer when there's going to be warm weather, no wind, and we can smash out a fast time. I'm just going to keep an eye on these cows. Cows are friendly though, right? What I thought I would do, I would talk now about my my pacing strategy for a 10 mile time trial. Why are they running? They're literally running. I did a video a while back about how I paced myself for a 25 mile time trial. So I think now is a good time to talk about how I've been pacing myself for the 10 mile time trials this year. Just off the rip, my best time so far is 21 minutes and uh, three seconds. That was at an average power of 365 watts and I weigh 69 kilograms. So what I do, I break up a 10 mile time trial into into quarters so roughly four five minute blocks and i haven't been pacing myself off power or, or off ftp or anything like that i've just been purely going off feel so the first five minutes i sort of they're kind of like a free five minutes and what i mean by that is you, you're pressing on but you're not feeling any pain in your legs you know i always think of the first five minutes as being as being free you know you're not putting any you're not really putting any pain and then after that five minutes has come up so so between five and ten minutes that's where the pain starts to kick in and by 10 minutes you want to be you want to be pretty pretty exhausted you want to be thinking to yourself all right I, th I feel like i feel like backing off now your legs are starting to become a little bit fatigued but you're trying to maintain the same pace as you did between zero and five minutes it's just becoming a little bit harder now then between 10 and 15 this is where the real pain starts to come you're 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 suffering you're tired you're just starting to feel like you're struggling to hold the power that you did between zero and five and also between five and ten so between zero and ten minutes you're, you're starting to struggle i'm really having to think about holding a good cadence now and then between 15 minutes and whenever you finish so five six or, or even seven minutes that's just that's just full gas you know you're not holding anything back you're not trying to you're not pacing yourself essentially you're just pressing on the pedals as hard as you can whilst maintaining a cadence of at least 90 rpm yeah that's just how i've sort of paced myself this year i guess in a nutshell the way i have been pacing is by breaking it up into four working it in four segments because if you do it in one sort of whole block i just think that you'll go out too hard whereas if you've got four five or six minute blocks it's a little bit easier to manage mentally more than anything but that is going to do it for today let me know in the comments down below what is your fastest time over a 10 mile time trial i'm just i'm just intrigued to know the the non-british viewers are probably thinking what you do 10 mile time trials it's a british thing in the summer on a weekday uh, on a weekday evening we do a 10 mile time trial it's just you know as a race we race against each other and it's good fun but guys that's the end of the video for today thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please drop a thumbs up and as always i'll see you tomorrow